Director of the Princess Grace Foundation USA, and we are delighted to be a part of this tribute to Princess Grace here in Monaco this weekend. I've been the director of the foundation for 21 years. I also very much enjoy keeping in touch with all of the winners. We have almost 800 award winners. Within those categories, it can be playwrights, actors, directors, designers, filmmakers, choreographers, dancers. It really runs the gamut of those particular industries. And now we're seeing our award winners achieve major critical acclaim, like receiving MacArthur Genius Awards, Academy Awards, Pulitzer Prizes. My name's Cecilia Peck, and we're at Stars and Bars in Monaco, and we've just had a panel of women filmmakers talking about women in film and women's issues and everything that's going on today with women's voices being heard for the first time. I had the most wonderful parents, my father and my mother, but my dad was the actor Gregory Peck and my mother Véronique was French. Um, I grew up partly here in the south of France because my parents had a home here and they were very dear friends with Princess Grace and Prince Fenier, so I'm very happy to be back in Monaco where I spent so many wonderful times with my family. I grew up on film sets, um, traveling with my father. I think when you grow up in the world of film, there's nothing like it. You know, it's so magical and there's a whole... I had an opportunity to shift careers and become a documentary filmmaker. Powers. I remember her very well. I wasn't that baby, I, but I uh, know I remember her very well. I grew up uh, going to the palace. I went to school there, and uh, she used to. I always remember she used to do Halloween at the palace for the children. This evening we're screening *The Country Girl*, the movie for which Princess Grace won the Academy Award at the Princess Grace Theater. <laughs> Tribute to Princess Grace, Kelly Van Remortel, Kelly Powers Van Remortel, the mom the mother of Kate Powers and Mike Powers asked me to do it a few years ago. And in the meantime, she's died and I'm keeping my promise. I'm, thank God I'm older now, but when I was younger, my voice was even higher than it is now. And I'm, I'm short and I dress like a girl, dress like a girl, um, whatever that means. Like a girl. Like a girl. And um, I think a lot of times what's perceived as powerful. So to me, I always look at images of like Shonda Rhimes and Ava DuVernay, and I'm like, well, what do they look like? Even as a woman of color, I would never imagine those are two women that could change my life as a director. I would never. So it's perceptions uh, of women of each other, I believe, um, not, not just men. And if we have more you know, women at the top and all different kinds of women, all of that changes. Um, I think you raised a great point. I think that the, on the executive level, it would be incredibly important to start um, almost like an affirmative action to people applying for the job, and they're equally good. I think the job should go to the woman, because otherwise we will never be able to raise those numbers. Um, women in power are extremely important. As I said, my first film was made for nothing. Um, and the ladies at the Los Angeles Film Festival decided to go out and for that year's film festival to find first-time filmmakers that are female. They literally made it a mandate to look at these films. Those women changed my life, and I hope I can do something similar one day for somebody coming up now. Danny was so kind to make her dream come true, and oh. our, our thoughts are with her, our mother and, of course, the wonderful Princess Grace. You know, it was in my childhood, and uh, just her elegance, uh, just, you know, her betrayal of life, you know, her love for life, um, you know, and she was just dear to everyone, and she had a heart of gold. She was bigger than life. Grace 
Voice of Monaco. This is an extraordinary event. My name is Bridget Carpenter and I am a playwright and television writer and producer. important thing is that they can overcome and live a better life after that. 